are some of the most extreme weddings we've ever seen. This groom walked down an aisle like no other. Daredevil Mickey Wilson navigated a slack line suspended 400 feet above the ground. I was a little nervous about taking the plunge, you know, getting married, changing my life so drastically, but because she and I were able to do this together, you know, there's not a single other girl on the planet that I could do this with. Mickey ultimately reached the altar to cheer. His bride followed. A few steps from the end, she dropped to the slack line and shimmied the rest of the way. I was just focusing on walking out to the net and not letting the wind knock me off. The actual ceremony took place in a net, also suspended over the canyon. I do. Once they exchanged vows, they bungee jumped through a hole in the net. <laughs> Just like any newlywed couple. The plan was always for me to kiss her and, and, and for us to jump off onto a rope swing. But I looked at her, I said, do you want me to pick you up? And she looked at me and she went, yeah, do it. It was so special. It was right at sunset. <laughs> Till death defying do they part. And these newlyweds also took things to the extreme. Check out these wedding photos. The bride and groom put their union to the test hundreds of feet in the air. Kevin and Christy Coleman showed Inside Edition how they did it. Good luck, hon. I'll see you on the other side. The Colemans were up at 4 a.m. for their nuptial cliff climb in New Hampshire's White Mountains. Once they got in position, Christy had to put on her wedding gown on the side of the cliff. Awesome, yeah. And a shot like that required a daredevil photographer as well. I've been a climber my whole life since I was 18, so it's just something that I'm used to. Jay Philbrick makes extreme portraits his specialty. Jay directs the shots while dangling from his harness. And why did the Colemans decide to do it? We wanted to have a story behind our photographs around our wedding, so we wanted to have not just your traditional wedding photos. This couple had an extremely magical wedding. Watch as the bride does this to her groom. The guests at the Malibu wedding went wild when he levitated off the ground. Check out the reaction from the father of the groom. So how did it happen? The groom, Justin Willman, is a professional magician. Looks like he shared some tricks of the trade with his betrothed. Some other non-traditional weddings had an aquatic theme. This couple jumped right in for their underwater wedding photos. Photographer Adam Opris uses an underwater camera to capture these soggy moments. I love seeing how the different dynamics come out underwater when people try and help each other float or mess with each other's hair underwater and make it fun and crazy. For me, it's just the weirdest thing is having shoes and socks on and a suit in the pool. Another couple took the plunge figuratively and literally in Florida waters. They exchanged vows using a whiteboard. Originally, the pair were going to have a church wedding but then decided to save some money and go under the sea. Side note, bouquets don't travel as far in water as they do when thrown on dry land. And this couple tied the knot at an aquarium in New Orleans. A wetsuit took the place of a traditional wedding gown, though the bride did manage to attach her veil. Most of the guests watched from behind the glass, but this stingray threatened to upstage the couple. Attention, hog. But with so many fish in the sea, these two each found quite the catch. And there wasn't a dry eye in the house when this couple got surprised by a flash mob at their wedding. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. The guests all sang, going to the chapel. Birds all sing, yes. If they knew. Soon everybody joins in. It was extremely sweet. This is InsideEdition.com.